Alright, so here we are. We're in Petak Tikva. Uh, we're doing something a little bit different today. It's Elisheva and Yala. Hello. So what are we doing today, Elisheva? So today we're doing something a little bit different. We're going to see wounded soldiers in the hospital in Bailington in Petak Tikva. So here we are at Alfredo restaurant. We're working with them today. It's something really different. We're going to pick up a waitress. And then we're going to go over to the hospital and she's literally going to take orders from 20 families sitting in the hospital and Alfredo's going to deliver lunch to them around 1 o'clock. That's what we're doing. What did you think when we first called you? Uh, first of all, it was uh, I was very happy to to help everybody with the food and uh, doing the best uh, for you, the soldiers and uh, the families. Uh, we feel like uh, this is our sons also. Uh, we're glad to give we're glad to give uh, everybody the best that we can, and uh, we promise you it's gonna be good. All right, so we're with Aviva. She's one of the uh, servers at Alfredo. Hi. Uh, so here's a question for you. How, how many times have you ever been taken out of the restaurant to work? Never. <laughs> <laughs> this is your first time? Yes. So what do you, what do you think about taking the, the morning and the early af in the afternoon to do this? It's a very nice opportunity to go and show the Chayalim our appreciation to what they are doing down south. And I have a boyfriend in Bolani, and it's very scary to know that they are fighting for us, but it's still very touching. <laughs> Did you have to, uh, you have to fight it out with the other servers or who's no, coming? They just called me and asked me, and I said, sure. That's it. Were you supposed to work today? Yes, this you morning. And what kind of tip are you, are you looking for after this? <laughs> No tip. No tip? No. You're a server. Of course you're gonna get a tip. No. Alright, so we're here with we're here, we're here with Ali Sheva and Hi. we've been we've been walking around for a couple hours visiting the soldiers. And we're in the last room with Esm Shkata? Kaspi. Kaspi. With the Kaspi's Rashef Kaspi. Is there anything you want to say to, to all these people throughout the world who... I want to say thank you to everyone. It's very helpful for the soldiers, even in the hospital, even in the hospital that I'm in the middle of the hospital. It's a great heart. Really, I feel like I've come here every time. 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 It's just like this. It's just like this. Thank you very much. So... So how are you? Uh, so how are you injured? I mixed up with a match and I fell 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 what do you What are you thinking about all all of your guys that are still out there? Ah, I wanted to leave, but they don't want to leave me. And I'm really happy that they stay safe and do their job as they should. When you're in there, it's tough, tough fighting. Yes. At the beginning, you get into it without thinking too much, and when you're there, you get a good proportion. But the places I've been in, they're like the ones I've been in. You didn't see Hamas so much? No, you see only the people that need to deal with them, let's say. You don't see any of them where they are. The people that are there, they are going to Israel and they are going to kill them in these areas, and all of them who don't need to be there, they are not there. That's all I can do. To all the people that support Israel and the soldiers, and give us a big hug and just uh, say thank you. Anything else? Uh, uh, are you going to open up a little market and sell cakes yeah. and cookies? Alright, 
Daily Chef, we just got back um, from taking orders. Now we're back in the restaurant. What was one thing that kind of just like jumped out at you as far as the, the being in the hospital and speaking to the soldiers and their family? It just, it's amazing. It's just amazing. Like these people are so humble across the board and they're so grateful. They feel, this is one of the, one of the, the last, um, the last family Cosby that we were with, they just said we feel embraced. We feel like from every corner of the country and every corner of the world, they just feel the love and they feel the appreciation. And you can see that it gives them a lot of strength. It's amazing. I was, it's such a privilege to be able to do this. I wish all of you guys could come as well, but we're, we're really grateful and appreciative that you trusted us enough to, to be your um, uh, shlichim, to be your, uh, your messengers, your, your messengers to, to bring these things to these people. And it's really amazing also that the love keeps coming back. Like, we, you send love through us to them, and they're so appreciative and sending it back, and it's just doing so much good in the world. You can just see it. It's amazing. All right, so here we are. We're uh, we're in the middle of the restaurant. As you can see, there's a lot of there's a lot of diners here today for lunch. Um, and right in the middle, right in the front of the house, here's Aviva, who's who is with us in the hospital. She's making sure that all the orders are right. And there was word that we were that that they were going out to the um, the hospital to go deliver food to the soldiers. So somebody delivered. Over there, you see that big, the big bag of, uh, big bag of junk food, <laughs> and but most importantly, of course, the the pictures that are that were made for the kids. Okay, so I'm standing here talking to Ricky. She's the owner of of Alfredo, and you're telling me that you have also a son. Where? Yes, he's in Gaza. He's fighting. He's fighting in Gaza right now. Yes, he's still there. We didn't hear from him until Friday for two weeks. Friday when he calls us. What do you think about everything that's going on here in the country? Not about the war, about people with people. Amazing. 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 I cannot say I'm, on one side I'm, I'm worried, the other side I'm proud to be Israeli. Israel is Israel. No place in the world like the people who is living here. My wife and I created this website to raise money for the Chayalim. Yeah. And we started spreading it around on social media, on internet. We didn't spend any money promoting it. It was just, so we're going to see how it went. Over 2,500 people have donated already. Over 600,000 shekel in two weeks. What do you think of Jews, non Jews, everything? What do you. I'm proud. I'm proud that people, everybody is giving what he can, what makes him, I don't know, but it's right. I don't think it's, there is any place in the world that people are donated. I'm sure that most of the people maybe, they don't have a lot of money. And you know what I said? There were, there was a few people who gave uh, enough money to buy a hundred pizza pies. And then there was, there was one person I saw bought one pizza pie, and I saw his email address, and the email address came from a university. He was a university student. He gave fourteen dollars for a you pizza. See, you see? It means everything. That, that's that's what I'm talking. That's what every that's what's going on. Yeah. That's the thing that can make me cry. I, I'm worried about my son, but this, the, the, the people here in Israel, they make it more soldiers, something that... Hi. Uh, it's very un unorthodox to do uh, such a thing. It's very, um, I think, very uh, uncommon, and uh, you have to be very... Uh, big hearted to do something like that. So uh, I hope the, whoever sees this uh, video uh, find a place in, the, in, in his heart to, uh, to join this uh, wonderful uh, family to do something like that.
חיילי צה"ל באהבה, באהבה. כל עם ישראל, עם ישראל, חיילים אוהבים. I said, there they go. There's take it, take out, take out it in a in a shopping cart. Thank you. Thank you. Off to the hospital. They're so excited. Bye 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 bye. There's the owner again. Also carrying stuff. It doesn't all fit into the stroller. What a beautiful day it is today. What a beautiful day. By the way, this is a really good place to eat. I'm not just saying it. Right here in Petak Tikva.